<laughs> Psst, Lily. Don't be afraid, Lily. It's me, Garrett. Please, stay calm. You were hypnotized by Dr. Marcel, and now you're completely in his control. But don't worry, I can help you. But you'll have to come with me to my secret room. You can find the entrance in front of Mother Superior's office, in the dark corner next to the fireplace. But first, I need your help. I've been watching Mother Superior and the Doctor for a long time, and I'm very close to unveiling their evil deeds. All I need is a confession. Here, take this extract of Deadly Nightshade. It's a truth serum. Pour it into Mother Superior's tea. As soon as she drinks it, she'll start spilling all of her secrets. Did you understand? Uh-huh. Excellent. Lily, what are you doing? You're supposed to be making us tea, not staring at paintings. Oh, don't be so harsh on her. Lily will complete her task. But I have to confess that I have also admired your gallery. I'm especially interested in this embroidery over here. It's a bit unusual, don't you think? Oh, that one. It's just an old keepsake. Hardly worth mentioning. I can't even remember hanging it there. You can't? Interesting. What is it actually an embroidery of? An eight-legged unicorn? It's only the embroidery of a dumb, irresponsible chup, chup, chup. Child! Nothing else. Mm -hmm. Lily! You clumsy good for nothing! Do you really want to embarrass me in front of the doctor? <laughs> That is strange. The hypnosis is foolproof. Ah, it was probably just an accident. The whole ch ch child is a total accident. If I could, could I would get, 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 get... But please, Mother Superior, do calm down. Lily will complete her task. Right, Lily? Uh-huh. Well, then, please bring us some more tea, okay? Be so kind. Lily didn't show it. But she was close to panicking. Serving more tea was no problem, but where would she get more truth serum from? Hello, Lily. You're not going to play with fire, are you? Uh -uh. I just wanted to be on the safe side. Lily carefully placed the kettle on the hook and made sure not to touch the fire. <laughs> Lily's special tea was ready. She called it pure truth, a blend of rooibos and deadly nightshade. Right. Hysterical. It's that embroidery. <laughs> it reminds me of my <laughs> childhood. <laughs> I was such a stupid. <laughs> Attach a horn to a forest with the nail gun. I was such a stupid. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Hello, Lily. You're not going to play with fire, are you? Of course you don't want that. You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it. Something weird was happening here. Um, well done, Lily. I've heard everything I wanted to hear. Mother Superior's obviously found Gaga. I already suspected that. Now hurry, come to me in the secret room. There's a hidden door in the dark corner in front of the office, right next to the fireplace outside. Yes. Oh, damn. Of course you can't make any light. You're not allowed to play with fire. I'd completely forgotten about that. One moment, let me think. Hmm. I think I have an idea. There isn't any way to break through a block created by hypnosis, unless you get hypnotized again. It's risky. But you could put yourself in a trance and fight the block directly in your own subconscious. But be warned, the world inside of a trance is an eerie place. It's like a parallel universe that only exists in your mind. Traversing it without the guidance of a trained hypnotist has its dangers. And the blocks created by the doctor will probably appear as powerful demons that you can only defeat in a mental duel. Did you understand all that? Just use the stuffed rabbit to hypnotize yourself. Once you're in a trance, look for the inner demon that's preventing you from making a fire and destroy him. You must not play with fire. With the rabbit's help, Lily had returned into a trance. At first glance, everything had seemed unfamiliar and strange, completely alone. She cowered inside a cold cave that was illuminated by the giant, suspicious eye of Mother Superior. So there really wasn't much difference to reality. Ow! The dust! My eyes burning! Who was that? Oh, it's burning! Just wait! When I find whoever's flinging all that dirt around, they're in for a nasty surprise! Mother Superior closed her tearing eye. Lily could move unobserved for now. Mother Superior had apparently taken her contact lenses out. Strange. In the real world, Mother Superior wore glasses. But in the real world, Mother Superior wasn't 50 feet tall either. So it was probably fun. Apparently, the snow 
snowman hadn't learned anything. Lily had put out the fire, just like the snowman had told her to. Hopefully, he now realized that there were quite appropriate situations where one could play with fire. Congratulations! Lily has acquired a new skill. She can now get around the ban on playing with fire. All she has to do is cancel it in her new Dotes menu by clicking on it with the left mouse button. Keep this option in mind. Throughout the game, Lily will learn to bypass many other restraints using this technique. But keep in mind that only one ban can be revoked at a time. With the help of the torch, Lily could finally inspect the mysterious bracket. What a surprise! It was a torch bracket, but there was still no trace of the promised secret passage. It was true! A secret passage! Garrett was right once again. Lily, you did it! Perfect! I think you're finally ready to know the truth. Well, where should I start? You. Maybe I should introduce myself first. My full name is Chief Deputy Garrett Gordon Gardengore. I'm an undercover investigator for the juvenile department. I took a position in the combat as a cover to observe Mother Superior. My assignment is to uncover evidence proving her educational methods violate youth protection laws. But Dr. Marcel is an even bigger fish to fry. Compared to him, Mother Superior is a saint. Lily could hardly believe what she was hearing. But now it all made sense. The secret room, the listening devices, and the strained voices she kept hearing at night. It was all coming together to form a coherent overall picture. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Before you ask me any questions, let me quickly tell you one more thing about the hypnosis. This Harvey hypnosis is the doctor's devilish invention. He apparently uses this stuffed rabbit to force his will on you. If we want to get out of here, then you're going to have to fight the behavioral rules he's installed inside you. You can also take on the other behavior blocks, just like you did the one stopping you from playing with fire. But it means you'll have to put yourself back in a trance. The first challenge will be leaving the school grounds. Mother Superior has forbidden you from doing this. And because of the behavior block, you're incapable of being disobedient. The solution is to once again fight the block while you're in a trance. We have to tackle the problem at its source. Don't... Let me finish. As I said, Dr. Marcel is a much bigger fish. The police has been after him for a while. He's suspected of using illegal therapy methods that rob children of their childhood. And the hypnosis he subjected you to confirms this suspicion. Call. Call the police? Ha! Lily, I am the police. I can help you and get you to safety. We just have to get off the school ground somehow. I think the best way is to follow in your friend Edna's footsteps. But first, I want to answer any questions you have. So? No questions? Uh-uh. How disappointing. Oh well, okay. Let's go to the tree swing. Actually, the ball of wool should have stayed in the treasure chest for all eternity as a symbol of friendship. But Lily was running out of options. How 
Hello, Lily. You're not trying to leave the school grounds, are you? You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it. And you do know... You must not contradict adults. It's possible to have lots of fun without defying the rules set by adults. We could sort your marbles according to colors. Or come up with a counting rhyme for folding laundry. No matter how tempting the funny rabbit suggestions were, Lily had to get through the fence and find Edna. What do you have there? Can I see it? Uh -huh. Whoa! A ball of wool! Yippee! But that's... that's... With the rabbit's help, Lily had returned into a trance. In the distance, she could see the giant Mother Superior stomping around in front of her cave. And over there, where in reality had been a huge gap in the fence, there was now a cobweb with a giant spider in the center. This had to be the second demon for her to defeat. Lily was curious whether this would have any effect. When Lily saw how Mother Superior took the spider in her arms, her heart melted. Suddenly, Mother Superior no longer seemed so big and grown up. She emerged from her trance with a blissful smile on her lips. Lily had overcome her second behavioral block. She might still only have been able to ignore one rule, but it was better than nothing. It was already dusk when Lily set off down the convent hill. You're late. Where have you been all this time? Uh, Save it. Save it. There's a time for words and a time for action. And there's a third time. The time for sitting at the police station and filling out forms. And that time has come. Uh-uh. What now? Ah, don't say anything. You want your girlfriend. What's her name? Oh, uh, Edna, right? Uh -huh. <sighs> I could tell right away that that girl meant overtime. But if she's still alive, I'll probably have to take care of this too. Although I think it's much more likely that Dr. Marcel has already found her and used a wood chipper to turn her into pig feed. If that's the case, I'll find that out too. So don't worry about your little girlfriend anymore. <sighs> Why do I always have to be so damn compassionate? It's a curse. Oh well. Wait here while I investigate a few things. I'll watch the path to the institution. Maybe I'll learn something that way. If I discover anything, I'll give you a signal. I'll make an owl call. Ooh, ooh, or something like that. You won't miss it. Wait here for me. I'm sure it will only take a few hours. Lily was immensely relieved that Edna's fate was now in the hands of this exceptionally competent youth investigator. However, she would have liked to have shown him the map with the directions to Edna's hiding place. But Garrett had already disappeared. Lily risked a glance at the map. She could see more lake from here. Edna's hiding place couldn't be that far. 
you're not planning on running into the moor after dark, are you? Don't you know how dangerous that is? You must not hang around dangerous places. There are so many other nice places for children to visit. The Agricultural Museum, for example. Or the Job Information Center at the Employment Office. Lily was starting to think that the funny stuff rabbit wasn't so funny after all. She stubbornly risked another look at the map. You must not hang around dangerous places. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I certainly didn't want to startle you. We're friends, after all. And friends don't play pranks on each other. 